Good morning. Uh, hi, Gloria. Thought you had an early meeting at Orsini. Yeah, I canceled it. State I'm in, I wouldn't be much good anyway. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. Everything's fine so far. So I don't understand. Dixie called last night from Paris. She's uh, flying in late this afternoon. Oh, well, did she make up her mind what to do about Dale? Yeah, I think so. That's part of my problem. She didn't want to tip her hand one way or the other. She said we would discuss it when she got home soon. That's why you're so nervous. It's too early for the bus, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Junior! Bonjour. Junior didn't miss you a bit. My boy! Hi! Oh, baby, how are you? Oh, this is so much. Have you been a good boy? Mm -hmm. Did you clean behind your ears? Let me see. Holy mackerel, there's a potato patch back there. It's a good thing I came home and we'd have to change your name to Spud. Do you bring me back anything? Maybe. There. Oh, Junior, look up. Beanie, honey, who should have. It is not a beanie, it's a beret, and it's tray chic. It's to go with the sombrero we brought you back from Mexico. Could I wear it to school? Absolutely, you sure can. Thanks. I missed you so much. <laughs> I promise you'll never go away ever again. I promise, sweetheart. Your mama's gonna be around for a long, long time. Uh, Junior, the bus is scheduled to be here soon. We need to better get you some breakfast. Oh, that's right. Now, don't yeah. you forget the breakfast. It's the most, most important, important meal of the day. day. I don't, don't want to go to school. You just got home. Well, I'll be here when you get back, okay? I promise. Scout's on it. Okay. Give me a hug. Hug. That's a great-looking beanie. <laughs> it's a beret, and don't you let anybody uh, tell you different, all just right? Just keep saying it. It's a beret. Come. It's a beret. <laughs> Remember that when they're beating the hell out of you in the schoolroom. <laughs> oh, uh, after breakfast, I will wait with you for the school bus. Okay, thank you, Thanks, Gloria. Gloria. See you later, Squirt. Well, except for you, it's great to be home. Did you miss me? <laughs> Don't you play coy with me. You know damn well I missed you like nobody's business. Mm. Well, I hope you noticed I didn't torture you every five minutes on the phone. <laughs> no, you didn't. What happened to the man I married? I mean, at least the man I married the first time. You mean the control freak that used to run around making all your decisions, dictating how to live your life? Mm-hmm. That's the guy. Well, he's gone, but not forgotten. I'd like to keep his memory around just in case I start to screw things up all over again. Hey, you know how much you wanted to call me? I think I wanted to call you twice as much. Sort of realize that without you in my life, <laughs> my life isn't much to write home about. Well, in that case, you want to go upstairs and unpack or something? <laughs> Don't you want to hear the decision that I made about Dell? You know, it's the damnedest thing. That's all I could think about from the moment you set foot outside that door. But since you're here and we're together, the only thing that's on my mind is showing you how much I love you. So I thought sweetbreads were something like, I don't know, cornbreads or pastries or whatever. And then they bring in this whole... No graphic pile. descriptions are necessary. Oh, Thank you very much. I had to drown the whole thing in ketchup, and I think I nearly started a riot in the kitchen. I'm sure you did. You know something, if you'd paid closer attention to I Love Lucy when you were a kid, none of this ever would have happened. <sighs> oh, Jinkies Kel Supreme. Have you heard from Dixie? Yes, she's uh, landing later this afternoon. What's her luggage doing here? Out of my way. Where have the boys come in? Dixie, my dear, why didn't you let me know you were home? Well, I just got home. I was going to call you. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, was uh, Lainey able to...
talk some sense into you. Oh, Palmer, you old smoothie. Elaine was wonderful. She let me do most of the talking, mm -hmm. which was a refreshing change of uh, pace. And what did you decide? Well, actually, Tad and I haven't even discussed it yet, so... Well, what are you waiting for? Some quiet time alone with my husband. So if you don't mind, I'll just call you and Opal, all right? Well, you think I'm going to go home and sit by the phone when your life is in the balance? No, no, I want to know right now. I think we should get him an ear trumpet. She said she'd call you later! It's bad news, isn't it? Uncle Palmer. If it good news, you were gonna, you'd tell me. Uncle Palmer! You're going to go through with it, aren't you? Oh, can't you just put a cork in it? You're going to let some sawbones slice you open, rip out a kidney, and give it to that... I can't believe that you'd do He's that. He's going to slice you open. Are you going to die? No, sweetheart, I am absolutely not going to die. But Uncle Palmer Your Uncle said... Palmer is an entirely different story altogether. Never mind what he said, all right? I would never do anything that would end up hurting me or you, okay? Now, you know what a big chicken I am. I'm a, I'm a super clock. That's what your mom is, okay? So I don't want you worrying that anything bad is going to happen to me or you, okay? Okay. All right. Gloria, will you take this young gentleman upstairs and make sure he gets his teeth brushed and his hair combed before school? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'll race you. Dixie, I take it that means you're not well, going to... Would you try to be human, for heaven's sake? Honestly, Palmer, if you're not jumping up and down in her face, you're assuring Junior of a long, illustrious career on the analyst's couch. What kind of thug terrorizes a child? I didn't know he was standing I don't there. want to hear it. Get out of my house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I upset the boy. I'll, I'll talk to him if you like. Oh, no, I think you've done enough damage for one day. Dixie, I'm only here because I love you. Oh, Uncle Palmer, I think you should just do what Tad suggested and leave. I will. I will leave. But before I do, I want to leave you with something. More abuse? As you very well know, I loved your mother with all my heart. And I look at you and I see the kindness in her eyes and the blush in your cheek. There isn't one day that goes by that I, I don't miss your mother. And her death was the greatest tragedy of my life. That's very interesting. Then why weren't you there, hmm? Why were Will and I, two children, left alone to bury our mother? It's my eternal regret that I wasn't there beside her at the end. If anything happened to you, Dixie, I don't think I could bear it. Well, Uncle Palmer, this is not about you, all right? I know. I know, I understand. But just promise me that you will put your well-being above any other consideration. Would you promise me? All right, that's enough. Come on. Right. I'm going. Dixie, I'll be at home. Waiting. I finally told you what I decided. I finally decided. Dad, I... Just ignore it. Don't answer it, okay? It's junior might have gotten something. I... Dale. Dixie, hi. I didn't know you were back. I just got back. Well, how was Paris? It was beautiful. Well, I'm sorry to cut the travelogue short, but we were in the middle of a private conversation. Dad, it's okay. Listen, you should come in, all right? You should hear this. Um, I finally decided I know what I'm going to do.